All right, thank you for waiting. And now uh, we will go back to our next section. Bring your business online now to recap the lost 30% sales by Mr. Edwin. And a little bit of background, Mr. Edwin Chia is an IT graduate with a passion of creative work and entrepreneurship. He's a business networker and an advisor help SME companies to digitally transform their business to thrive in the new post-COVID-19 world. So let's welcome Mr. Erwin to the stage. Over to you, Mr. Erwin. Uh, Mr. Erwin, you have to unmute yourself. All right, now I can hear you. Over to you. Uh, the, the voice is quite low. Your mic, maybe your mic. No, not really can hear you. No, no sound, still no sound. No, maybe you have to put a mic near you. No, you have to adjust again, sorry. I still can't hear you. Can, can you hear me now? Yes, I can hear you now, Miss Ivy. Oh, okay. All right, now pass to you. Okay. Uh, hi. Sorry for that technical problem. Uh, welcome again, everyone, to the best IT. Uh, sorry for that uh, minor um, technical error. Um, okay, so coming back to where we are right now. Um, is my screen on? Can you all see my screen? Yes, we can see you, Mrs. Evan. Okay, sorry, I had to turn it off just now. All right. Okay, uh, you all can see my screen now, right? I just checking. Just checking. Let me share your slide. 
Okay, share my slide. Right. Okay, great. Can you see? We go. I put it on for you. Okay. Hold on. Can you see now? Hi guys, can you see? Sorry about the technical error and all the little things that we're trying to do and sort out. Okay, I am just gonna continue. Uh, welcome to the BIS IT track. Uh, we are very fortunate to have everyone here to have all of you being part of this uh, amazing, amazing uh, um, co virtual conference now. OK, so I know it's been a full day and we got another hour to go and uh, I'm really, really excited today to have uh, something to share with you. All right. So my topic today is talking about bringing your business online now to recapture the 30% sales that we have lost, okay? So now, who am I? My name is Edwin Chia. I'm a founder of Entrepreneurs Club. So Entrepreneurs Club is a social networking uh, club for entrepreneurs. So uh, it's not so much for uh, workers and all that, but it's for people who are wanting to know and to learn what entrepreneurship is about. So we gather together once a month. Uh, this was before MCO. And we are uh, on the way to do a, re a reunion, actually, next month, now that everyone is out and coming out again. So we are excited to have everyone to come back together to uh, network again to see how everyone else is doing with their business. And uh, also recently, we started a company called DXLC. OK, uh, build more on that later on. So I'm also a tech geek. I love tech. I love uh, all kinds of things that related to tech. I'm also an explorer. I love to explore. I've been uh, to fortunate enough to travel to many, many different places around the world. I'm also an avid teacher and trainer, and I love to pass my knowledge down to other people who are willing to learn. OK, so here's something that I really want to leave with you uh, before I go on is from Seth Godin. OK, if you don't know who he is, he is a very uh, famous digital marketeer. Uh, and he says we are capable of more than we think. So today, as you are hearing me share, I can't really see you, but you're hearing me. Tell yourself, I am capable of more. I am capable of more than what I think. OK, because today I'm going to share something with you that is very, very simple, very, very basic, but a lot of people are still finding it very, very hard to do. All right. But before I go on, let's play a game because it's the afternoon. Many of us are feeling very tired. Our minds are already overloaded with so much information. So let's get something out. OK, so I have prepared uh, a game called on Kahoot. OK, if you don't know what Kahoot is, just use your mobile device. Go to this website called www.kahoot.it. OK, and I'm just going to see if this will work. All right, come on. Oh, no. OK. Uh, just give me a moment because I was on it just now and now it's not on again. All right, All right. So we are going to play this game. OK, it's a very uh, simple quiz. So if you are on it, all right, I'm going to give you a code and you can go into it and get ready to play this game. OK, I'm going to give you the pin number now. All 
Okay. All right. Uh, can everyone see and go to this uh, number? All right. I'm going to give you the number now. Sorry for the technical error. Ba, ba, ba. All right. Everyone can see us. Okay. Seven three eight four zero six four. Okay. Hi, Mr. Evin. You have to share the slide. All right. Thank you. I shared this slide. Oh, I can't do it when I'm here. Uh, okay, I think, uh, right. Okay, sorry, sorry. I think it's not going to work with this. Sorry, I'm trying to come out of Kahoot, but it's not coming out. I am kind of stuck in Kahoot. Doesn't let me. Oh, cat, I see you inside. OK, anyways, guys, uh, we will fix that in a while. But in the meantime, I want us to go into this. OK, so if you have your Kahoot, I want you to go into this with this code, okay? Seven zero seven three eight four zero six four seven three eight four zero six four. Okay, I can see cat. I can see IDZ. Okay. Anyone else coming in? I just want to do a really quick game. Right. OK, if we don't have, that's fine. Oh, I see someone else inside. OK. All right, let's play. Right. So this is just a very simple quiz. So before we start, we're going to talk about what is your nationality and are you currently staying in Malaysia? So if you are, you click on the red ones or the blue ones. If you're non-Malaysian staying in Malaysia, you can click on the yellow one and so on. OK, if you're Malaysian, love to hear what you are thinking. If you're not Malaysian, I'm also thinking, I still want to know what you are thinking. All right. OK, just one who replied, I am currently staying in Malaysia. All right, thank you. Now, question number two, what is your age group? OK, I'm just doing a short survey to hear, see who you guys are because I can't see you, right? So I need ways to find out who you are and what you are doing right now. Right. OK, you have 30 seconds to answer each question. OK, right now there's no right or wrong answer, but I want to know more about who you are. OK, oh, five people inside. OK, now what is your gender? So to be political correct, uh, I've added other if you identify yourself as an other uh, gender. All right. 
Okay, this is a no-brainer, right? I mean, for us, it's a no-brainer. Okay, some of you don't prefer not to say, that's fine. Now, how would you describe your current financial situation? Uh, doing okay, not doing okay. Don't know what next month will look like. I'm comfortable and not in worry. Okay, thank you so much for all your answers. So I just want to see a snapshot of who is uh, watching this right now. But right now we're going to go into a bit more uh, of a quiz to see how much we know about Malaysians uh, e-commerce situation, okay? So <clears throat> in the last seven days, how many things have you bought online? Okay, some people are very avid online spenders. Some people just still haven't learned how to buy online. That's okay, I just want to know uh, how often do we buy things? Okay, now this question. Ooh, somebody's on fire. Right, now what kind of products do you think Malaysians love to buy most online? Okay, what do Malaysians like to buy? It's okay if you answer wrong, it's, it's just a quick survey. Oh, fashion and beauty, you're right. Okay, now. How many percentage of Malaysians are online shoppers? Right, 10%, 37%, 50%, 25%. That's based on Malaysian population, okay? Right, 50% of Malaysians are online shoppers. Okay, that's a lot. Oh, nobody got it right, that's okay. <laughs> right, in general, who do you think is profiting the most from e-commerce? The big guys, retail giants like Amazon or medium enterprises, international businesses who are not e-commerce per se, or small retailers? Small retailers, wow. Have you ever thought of that? The small retailers are actually making the most money or the most profit from e-commerce. Oh, good job. 7384064. <laughs> now, okay, next question. How many Malaysians do you think use mobile devices to buy things online? Thirty nine percent, sixty two percent, nineteen percent or even a high 81%, okay? Do you think Malaysians love to buy things? Possibly, it's already 50%. 
62% of Malaysians use their mobile devices to buy things online, okay? So that shows that Malaysians are actually getting more and more tech savvy. Now, next question. In Malaysia, do men or women tend to shop more online? Okay, this is a funny picture that I found on the internet. Because during the MCO, there are many people who are trying to uh, protect themselves. So they were wearing masks and decided, why not? Let's just do cosplay. That's an idea, you know, to have a cosplay outing. So men or women tend to shop more online. And the answer is men. Okay, I think that's amazing that men are actually buying more things online. Ooh, RP Cam on the lead. Now, last two, three questions. Who is more likely to shop online? East Malaysians or Peninsular West Malaysians? Do you think more people in, you know, like KL, Trunganu, Sabah, Sarawak, they are more likely to buy? Let's see. East Malaysians, guys. East Malaysians are spending more money online. Okay? Right. Now, which Southeast Asia country has the fastest emerging e-commerce market? So let me give you a tip. Since we're talking about Malaysia, that's a tip for you. Which Southeast Asia country has the fastest emerging e-commerce market? Okay, guys, this is all from research reports. Okay, I didn't make this up. These are all research reports. So, do you think it's Malaysia? Malaysia has the fastest emerging e-commerce market in Southeast Asia, right? And our last question, right, for today. How much money do I need to start selling online? 1,000 ringgit is my startup capital or 5,000 ringgit I need to start my capital. I mean, st start my e-commerce store. Or even just a little bit, 250 ringgit. What do you think? Do I need a lot, a lot of money to start selling online? Zero, guys. You need zero money to start selling online. <coughs> All right. Thank you. And I'm trying to get out of this. Yeah, I can't get out of um, Kahoot. Okay. All right. Lesson learned. Um, okay, I think I need to.
Hi. Sorry about that, guys. Um, you see me? Right? OK. So. OK. So why should you bring your business online now? So actually, the quiz itself uh, has a lot of the information that I want to bring to you today. But since uh, we had some technical issues, uh, forgive us. Uh, we are learning. I'm also learning as a presenter to present online. So I'm just going to move forward. And if you have any questions, I would love you to contact me. OK, so why should you bring your business online now? Right? Some clever statistics right here. As you know, if you were on the quiz itself, Malaysia boasts 16.53 million online shoppers. In case if you don't know the percentage, that's 50% of the population. And 62% of mobile users use their devices to shop online. Right? So that's a high percentage compared to many and many other uh, countries around us, 50% of our population is buying things online. All right. And here's the thing. Small retailers may see up to 30% higher mobile conversion rates compared to large retailers. What does that mean? What it means is that as long as a small retailer is able to get themselves online, OK, get themselves online, they can start to see up to 30% sales. That's why this topic is talking about recapturing that 30% sales, right? Many people have uh, their, their businesses affected because of the pandemic, right? I'm sure you have been uh, very, very affected as a lot of people have been affected, but bringing your business online now is able to get back at least or 30% of this sales. OK. Another statistic is that e-commerce activities in Malaysia, right? These are very, very high. Look, 91% of Malaysians are searching for a product to buy online. They are searching for services to buy online. So if you have a product, OK, even if it's just uh, nasi lama or food panda or related food related ones, even giving a short message on WhatsApp saying, hey guys, I have this for sale. Uh, if you want, you can buy directly from us. Uh, now, I'm very, very, very sure over the last couple of weeks, you have been receiving messages from friends, from family members, even from associates about things that you can purchase online directly from the suppliers or directly from uh, retailers or even uh, friends who are actually you don't know, but now they are supplying all of this. OK, for example, I live in a small community and we have been helping each other with uh, food products. Why? Because MCO closed down everything. Nobody could go out to buy anything at all except uh, under very, very strict uh, regimes and strict SOPs. And even then people were afraid to go out or they don't want to line up all the way up to the parking lot just to get uh, toilet paper. OK, that's a joke for you and things like that. So my small community was exchanging all of this information and we started to realize, oh, hey, this guy, he's a baker. He bakes cakes and he loves to have, uh, you know, uh, he's provide his service for us. So we ordered from him directly. Now, another thing is that somebody told me that there was tiger prawns straight from the supplier and they were giving us a very, very good price because his tiger prawns were initially uh, for export, but because of everything has been locked down, he cannot, he has an oversupply. And so he rather uh, find communities like ours and bring it directly to us. So instead of 70 ringgit per kilo, we are all buying directly from him for 50 ringgit per kilo, right? Savings for him, savings for us. Savings for him in terms that he can get rid of his supply. We get the benefit of uh, lower cost and fresh 
tiger prawns. So things like that. Now, if you're in a service industry, you provide service, what is stopping you from sending messages to people saying that I'm doing this, uh, I'm giving you this discount, and so if you want, I can come and help you, right? Even plumbers, uh, mechanics, hairdressers, right? They are finding ways to provide their services online. Okay, so there are many, many ways that we can do this. And I'm trying to encourage you here that there are things that we can do, right? Stop saying that there's nothing you can do. Remember uh, the quote that I gave you, you are more capable than you think. You're more capable than you think. Okay, now in the next slide, I'm going to show you the landscape of Malaysia's e-commerce, right? It's, it's quite complicated as a lot of things, a lot of brands, but don't worry about it, okay? What I'm trying to show you is that because of all of these brands, because of all of these micro businesses, macro businesses, they actually have given us very good platforms, very good channels for us to enter in to the e-commerce market. Right now, I want to tell you a little bit more about the Malaysian e-commerce market. We will come back to this slide and I'll tell you why. The truth about online shopping and what the future holds. Now, 83% of people are shopping online. Okay, this is from uh, one of the e-commerce uh, platforms that I got this survey from. Okay, and now, as we said, men are buying more online than women now i have two i can think of two reasons why okay two reasons one is that as a husband sometimes we tend to be forgetful and we don't have the time to run out to get that last minute gift so we just go on to the website and we just get the thing that we want get it delivered to our office and ta-da there it goes wife here is your present i didn't forget okay the other reason why i can think of uh this is just on a joke side is that the women wants to buy this and the women wants to buy that so they ask the men to buy it for him presents right women love presents they love to have they feel valuable when gifts are given to them, okay? That's just a joke, okay? That was the things that I was thinking about. Now, we also talk about East Malaysia. Uh, in the quiz, one of the questions was that, uh, who buys more? Who buys more? Is that East Malaysians are actually spending more online, right? There are many, many reasons why. I am thinking of one of the reasons is that they cannot uh, they don't have uh, access accessibility to a lot of the things that we in the peninsula have. So they have utilized uh, online shopping as a means to uh, get the stuff that they need. In fact, um, uh, I have uh, an online store and a lot of the requests that I get for digital goods, okay, uh, electronics and all that come from East Malaysia because they want all this stuff, but they can't get it from the retail stores, so they get it from us. Or sometimes even because of the price point, okay, by the time things get to East Malaysia, they are quite expensive, so they get a price reduction by buying online. Now, we also talked about the most purchased categories of products fashion and beauty, right? This has always been one of the things, even in retail, fashion and beauty has always been a very, very high uh, uh, product that people love to buy, electronics, sports and hobbies. Okay, those are the things that will never, never get wrong. And it's just how you position yourself in the market. And future potentials with Malaysian non-online shoppers, right? What do you think? What do you think is happening to the landscape in Malaysia right now, in the e-commerce? When you think about the pandemic, it has affected so many brick and mortar businesses. Okay, we see hotels closing down. We see many, many shops closing down. Some of our favorite 
stores are closing down. In fact, my favorite durian store is closing down because why they cannot sustain the high cost of rental. But fortunately, there is a silver lining. They are going to set up a roadside store so I can still enjoy my durian from my favorite seller. OK, but things are affecting. Even my durian seller has gone online. They're setting up WhatsApp. They are setting up their Facebook page. They are letting their customers know the, the best deals for today, and they're trying to get back all of their sales. If they do not do that, the only way that they can go is down. But because of all of their actions of putting their business online, even the simple thing of Facebook and WhatsApp, they are generating sales which otherwise they would have never gotten. Right now, the time to go online is actually yesterday. If you haven't been online yet, I'm sorry to say today is too late. But don't worry, it's better late than never. OK, still OK to jump on the e-commerce wagon. Why? Because this is the path of the future. Now we've heard speakers talk about uh, digital transformation and things like that. Now my company DXLC, that is what we do, right? We as a small uh, enterprise, our aim is to help uh, other businesses, other entrepreneurs um, and other uh, sellers to go online. We recognize that there are many people who have no knowledge or even the skills to go online. Maybe they have the skills, but they do not have the tools. So we come alongside them. We are not. Uh, uh, we are not trying to take over and say, oh, if you engage us, uh, we will help you to succeed and all that. No, we come alongside. We hold your hand and say, let's journey together because why the pandemic has affected all of us and now we are going to hold each other's hand to move forward and that's what DXLC is all about and DXLC comes to provide support that you need to get your business online okay the impact of COVID-19 has affected all of us so many 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 times right we can talk about what the future will hold, but we have no idea what the future will really look like until a vaccine is found or is developed. The effects of COVID-19 will continue, right? Social distancing will continue. Uh, people will still have to avoid each other, you know, but Malaysians, you know, they love to hang out together. We love our mama's dolls. OK, Premier League is on and I want to go out at 4 a.m. to watch my favorite team it's still happening. OK, so uh, we don't know what is the long term impact of COVID-19. OK, I'm going to go through this very fast because uh, a lot of my time has been uh, taken up trying to get the thing online and things like that. But basically what I'm trying to say is COVID-19 bad, but there is always a silver lining. As many of us who are Chinese, who are no Chinese words, <laughs> we know this word crisis. OK, Wei Ji. Crisis in Chinese has two characters. Wei Ji composed of two characters, one representing danger and one representing opportunity. So if you are in a position where you feel that COVID-19 has robbed you of your financial security, do not worry. There is always an opportunity to get back or even to strive to thrive in this new uh, in this new environment. Why now COVID-19 changed everything that we know. How one of the thing is that by simply putting everyone at home, they force people to go online, work from home, shop from home, everything at home. The experts were actually uh, forecasting that this eventually will come, but maybe in the next 10 to 20 years. 
but because of COVID-19, everything was brought forward. Okay, now this change, as it continues, it, it, it causes us to behave in ways that we never thought imagined. I would never thought to have an online presentation with you, with somebody that, I, people that I cannot see. I cannot see you, I cannot see the crowd, but nevertheless, I am presenting to you and that is the opportunity today that I have taken, right? And so for you, you have the opportunity today too, to change your life, to change your thinking, put aside the old you and embrace the new you, all right? Now, I'm gonna go quickly, right? If you were during the pandemic, uh, you have probably changed a lot of your behaviors in the way you buy. You probably don't think about buying branded goods now, okay? You're thinking more of essentials, thinking more of groceries, thinking more of food, uh, even childcare, that is always an important industry, and personal hygiene. Those are very, very important industries right now, okay? They are also thinking about DIY stuff, things that you can do at home to fix up your home without having to get an expert in. Working from home related items, okay? Then these are things that even the government has stepped in to say that they will subsidize things that we can get if yeah, because of wanting to work from home. And that's why we also have this conference with the track for cybersecurity because now working from home means we have to access uh, our company servers through our own laptops, okay? And that somehow it can be unsecure and hackers can bypass your company's security by going through your home system. So that's why today we are also talking about cybersecurity. Okay, and uh, buying behaviors, we'll see more and more people go online, right? You are online right now, which is already the result of the MCO. But now I want to share with you the few steps that I have prepared, especially for you guys, how you can bring your business online, right? Easy peasy lemon squeezy, right? It's not hard. It's not hard. Let me tell you why. When you see this landscape of e-commerce, it's easy to get lost. It's easy to get lost in the the this environment to say, okay, how do I start? I don't even know where to start. When I see this, I feel like I'm in a jungle. All right. But don't worry. Let me share with you how you can set up an online shop with no money. No money, okay? I don't require any capital. I don't require you to put in like, okay, I have 500 ringgit, what can I do with this? Zero, you don't need any money. I'm just gonna share with you the easiest way to set up an online shop with no money, okay? A lot of people have been asking me, how can I do something online? How can I just get something to do online so that I can earn some money. Now, here's the easiest way. Shopee, Lazada, Carousel. All right, there are a few more platforms, but this online retail shops platforms allow you to set up your online store for free. Okay, they don't ask you to set up, give any subscription fee, no. It's free for you to set up your own retail store. All right, it's free. Marketing is also free. Why? Social media is such an easy way for people to get online and spread the word across. Another thing that's free, payment gateway. Okay, Shopee and other shopping platforms, they have already sorted out this whole headache of trying to see how people will pay. They're still secure security for them, security for you. Or if you want, you can do bank transfer. Online transfer, Malaysians are still very old school. They will still say, okay, let's do bank transfer. Or at the end of the day, if you really don't know what to do with online stuff, cash on delivery is still one of the best ways. Immediate delivery, immediate goods, immediate money, okay? And then, Logistics is also something that's already been covered. 
everything that you need has already been covered. Logistics has already been included in the price. OK, so you don't even have to worry about oh, how much is it that I'm going to have to send this to Sarawak or how much do I have to send this to Penang? No, don't worry about it. Bringing your business online now, OK? MCO, before MCO, Malaysia is already a booming market. It's never too late to get online. Now more than ever, if you don't get online, you're missing out on at least 30% of your sales. OK, just by going online, you can recapture that. All the tools that you need is already available. So what is missing, guys? What's missing? OK, maybe you are here. You just left. Uh, you got retrenched from your job. You're an engineer or you're an IT graduate. All you know is things that is not feasible or not available. You don't have a product. And if you don't have a product, you cannot sell. Well, let me tell you something really interesting that I just found out yesterday. OK, I saw on Shopee. This seller has only joined Shopee for two months. And you know what are they selling? They are selling ebooks. And I was so shocked and so surprised. Why? Because a lot of these ebooks are already available on Amazon or things like that. Even you can, if you know the back way to it, you can get it for free. But people are buying it. Okay, he, he's selling it for one ringgit, two ringgit, four ringgit. But when I saw how many has been sold, I am shocked, and I'm thinking, wow, even this is a business, right? So, quit giving excuse to yourself that you have nothing. OK, you have everything that you need. You just need to figure out what is that product. The other thing that's more important that's missing. Is you. You're missing, right? The Internet needs you. The online shopping commerce needs you. It needs your time. It needs your effort, right? If you put your time and effort into it, I guarantee you that you can do something with it. Now, I'm going to sum up really quickly. To bring back your business online, to recapture that 30% sales, all the tools are there. All you need is a product. OK, search for it, source for it, store it. The next thing you need is you. Need you to be available, need you to dedicate your time, need you to dedicate your effort. OK, so I'm coming to the end of my uh, presentation. But before I go, I have an offer for you, right? Only for this presentation, only for work from home 2020 virtual conference. I have prepared for you a six hour hands on workshop to set up your online store. OK, I talked about setting up and things like that. Like I always say DXLC, we are here to hold your hand to walk with you. There are many, many uh, people that will tell you, oh, you can set up an online store, blah, 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 but they are not going to get yet their hands dirty with you to share with you, to teach you, to show you step by step how it's going to go. OK, DXLC, we are going to show you how we are going to help you to set up a Shopee store, right? Learn how to shop, set up a Shopee online store, create, promote your brand. OK, if you have nothing, it's great to start now. OK, take a professional like image of your product. OK, we will teach you how to do that. We have the tools here to prepare for you. No products, no problem. We got you covered. OK, you have no idea what to sell. I'll give you something to sell. And learn to market via Facebook, Instagram and WhatsApp. OK, these are very popular sites for Malaysians. These are the things that we like to see now. OK, learn how to run campaigns. Give discounts and promotions. Does that sound good? Does that sound good? OK, learn to engage your customers to create positive reviews. Why? Because reviews is what generates people's trust. All right. Now this whole workshop, we actually sell it, value it at 599. 
but like today I said I have an offer for you. OK, no 599, but this is a one time offer only. And this offer is just going to be for 199 ringgit. 199 ringgit for six hours of hands on workshop. I will show you how to set up your store, how to set up your uh, products, how to take pictures and set it up so that you can start marketing it, start getting your sales in. OK, if you're interested, this is the QR code that you need to scan, right? This is the link that you need to go fill it up. Pay it online, then we will secure your place on the workshop. The workshop is next week, Saturday, OK? I have prepared two workshops. If you can't make it for next week, Saturday, there's one more the following week. It's only $199, guys. And if you think that is too much, well, I'm sorry to say I have my time. I also want to help you, but I also have bills to pay, OK? So one last thing. This $199 includes some freebies, right? One of the freebies is a Lenovo 15 inch laptop backpack. It's worth 85 ringgit, right? The other freebie that I'm going to give you is 20 disposable medical masks. And these are surgical masks, okay? These are masks that they use in hospitals, not the ones that you buy outside for really, really cheap, okay? These are really, really thick. So if you're interested, that's the QR code. And I hope to see you next week or the following week. Right. And if you have any questions, if you really, really don't have the money for this, contact me. All right. This is my email. That's my LinkedIn. I love to hear from you what you think. I want to also be engage with you. If you have really have some trouble, you need some help, please engage me. I love to come alongside because that's what we set up this company for. DXLC Syndrome Berhard is there to hold your hand, to walk with you through this pandemic journey. Okay, thank you very much. I'm pass the time back to the MC. Thank you guys. Hope to see you again. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask. All right, over to you. Thank you, Mr. Evin. All right. Now, thanks to Mr. Erwin and help to if you wish to get some slides, please fill up the feedback form and the link will be sent into the live event Q&A.